What's going on guys? It's your boy Jesse D123 back with another video and in today's video we're going to be going over the top 10 best future stars in the new future of the franchise program. Drop a like if you guys are excited man and without further ado let's hop right into today's video. Alright guys I have to mention two things to you guys right now. One we don't have any of these cards yet. You guys see the XP we're at. We don't have any of these cards yet. I'm basing my top 10 list strictly on the stats, the fielding and the hitting. That's how we're making our list. And the second thing I have to tell you guys is the first person's name that I mentioned is not better than the 10th person name that I mentioned. I'm just naming them in no particular order. I'm just taking the route of how the program shows them out, okay? And actually, one more thing I have to tell you guys. I know you guys are probably expecting some baseball card openings today. I couldn't get the product in time for you guys, but I do have product coming this Wednesday. So expect the, pa the baseball pack openings to resume next Sunday. We have the Bowman Mega Box to open for you guys. Can't wait to open that because there should be some fire in that. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, let's just get right into this video, guys. Guys, the first two cards on this list. The first one's gonna be Gunnar Henderson, guys. Now let's focus on his fielding. He has 84 fielding, 96 arm, 81 reaction with 77 speed. If you get this man to parallel two at least, he'll have 86 fielding, which means you can play him at second or third, and he'll still have gold fielding, which is good. You guys give him the parallel three, he'll have 80 speed, which is nice. But one thing I like about this card is his hitting stats against righties. He has 97, uh, excuse me, 95 contact versus righties and 104 power versus righties me in my opinion eight times out of ten you guys are gonna be facing a right-handed pitcher so he should be doing really really good against that his hitting stats against lefties aren't the best but they'll they'll do i think in my opinion um but gunner henderson is the first person on this list moving on to the next there's a lot of players that have similar positions so my boy gunner henderson played shortstop and the second guy on this list is going to be oswald peraza and he also plays shortstop so let's go over his stats i really love his fielding with the speed combination he has 93 speed 88 arm 89 reaction with 87 speed so you guys see he is nasty, guys. He also can play second or third. So as long as you guys get this guy to parallel two, he can uh, have, still have diamond fielding at second or third. And the reaction is going to be there as well with the speed as well. Um, His hitting stats are nice. Um, He does have a lot of contact. He doesn't have a lot of power, though. So don't expect this man to hit too many bombs. But he can make a lot of contact because once you guys get him to at least parallel three, he'll have 100 contact against both sides, which is really, really good. Now let's hop into the next one, guys, the NL East. We got two cards from here as well. The first this one's going to be Brett Beatty. As you guys can see, starting off with the fielding again. 84 fielding, 82 reaction with 62 speed and a 92 arm. This man plays third base. You guys want to keep him at third. You guys don't want to shift this man to left field. Keep him at third base. Um, Once you guys get him, well, you guys see the stats, right? His hitting stats against righties are the same. Or excuse me, are not the same. They're really, really good against righties. 108 contact versus righties, which is really, really high. And he has 100 power against righties. And he's a left-handed hitter, which is really cool. Um, he has 94 contact against lefties and 88 power against lefties. So he's not the best against lefties, but he hits righties pretty good. And going back to what I said earlier, 8 times out of 10, you're going to be facing a right-handed hitter. Um, of course, it could change throughout the innings and stuff. But in my opinion, I feel like we're going to face more righties than we do lefties. And... Um, he should do really, really good for you. Um, and yeah, so moving on to the next card, guys. The AL Central pack. We have one card from this pack. It's going to be Nick Prado. Nick Prado, he's a first baseman. I want to say he's one of the two first basemen in the future star list. Maybe, maybe there's more. I could be tripping. But look at his fielding, guys. 92 fielding, 88 arm, 94 reaction, 52 speed. He's a first baseman. He can play left or right as well. If you guys really want to throw him in the outfield, which I suggest just keep this man at first because he's going to be locking it down with that diamond fielding. Look at his stats, uh, hitting stats, though. He has 92 contact against righties, 108 power against righties, which is really, really good. Going back to what I said, eight times out of 10, you're going to be facing a right-handed hitter. That's just my opinion. Um, 84 contact versus lefties and a 100 power against lefties not the best he has a lot of power against lefties though which is really really good he also bats lefty as well uh, but yeah nick prado's on that list for sure moving on to the next pack we have my boy austin hendrick austin hendrick he kind of surprised me bro especially if you guys can get this guy to pair it off five Here, here's why 85 fielding 87 arm 86 accuracy and 88 reaction with 80 speed if you guys get this man to parallel five he will have 90 fielding with 93 reaction and 85 speed out there in right field yes he could play left and center but you want to keep him in right so you guys can have that diamond fielding if you guys do choose to get this man to parallel five and you guys see the hitting stats the contact is really low i don't like the contact but again going back to that um saying about getting him the parallel five as long as you guys get him the parallel three he'll have 90 contact versus righties which is 
better than 87 and he has 110 power against righties which is amazing so this man should be hitting nukes for you guys against righties specifically he does have 100 power which is decent not the best but it's decent um and he's a left-handed hitter too all right moving on to the next card guys the al west i think we're coming down to the last four cards we have my boy shay lang langeliers i think he's the first catcher on the list i think he, he plays better than henry davis solely based on stats look at his fielding guys 92 fielding 97 arm 87 reaction and 88 block this man's not going to let anything get by him at all and especially if you guys get this man pair load up He's only going to be that much better. His hitting stats are pretty nice as well. Against lefties, they're kind of low. But against righties, going back to what I said, eight, time, eight times out of ten, you're going to be facing a right-handed hitter. Excuse me, pitcher. Um, he has 90 contact versus righties and 102 power against righties, which is really, really good, man. I don't know. When I look at his stats, I don't know. I think he's a really, really good catcher. I think he's for sure better than the other catcher on this, which is Corey Lee. That's just my opinion. If you guys think Corey Lee's better, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. And again, guys, if you guys disagree or agree with anybody on this list, let me know down in the comments as well. Let's get into a discussion because this is just my top 10 list. If you guys um, feel like my top 10 list isn't the best, let me know your top 10 list down in the comments. Um, and then let's go over the second card is my boy Justin Foscue from the Texas Rangers. Now, guys, this card is really, really good. He has 82 fielding, 78 arm, 86 reaction with 46 speed. Speed being the only bad part about this card or the second bad thing about this card. The first one being he only has really, really low contact against righties, only 85. Um, he has 96 contact versus lefties, which is good. He has 107 power against righties and 112 power against lefties, which is really good. So he's a, he's a power hitting um, player which is really really cool he can play third and short but i recommend you guys just keeping him at second of course because that 82 fielding is going to get the job done there really really well now moving on to the last one guys the nl west of course of course bobby miller is the best catcher excuse me the best catcher whoa the best pitcher in this whole future stars program 102 hits per nine he has a five pitch repertoire four seam slider splitter sinker and a curveball and this man has outlier on that fastball guys he is really really good i cannot wait to get him and parallel him up and he has really really good control on the pitches as well high 80s um for the four seam and the split uh, the slider the sinker can get a little bit better but i think this card is really really good if you guys have this card and if you guys use them let me know down in the comments how good is he because statistically he looks amazing he has 81 control not the best but that 99 velo with the 97 break is really really nice and in my opinion guys he is the best future star. This guy, Michael Taglia, in my opinion. Here's why. He's a switch hitter, guys. A switch hitter who's a first baseman but can play left and right and still have diamond fielding, guys. And still have diamond reaction. My speed is lackluster, of course. But he can have diamond fielding and diamond reaction in the outfield if you don't want to throw him at first base. And I believe he's the only switch hitting future star on this list. He has 84 contact and 92 contact. Not the best contact though, but you guys see the power. 109 and 107. In my opinion, guys, he is the best future stars on this list. Let me know who, is, who do you think is the best future stars on your list. Let me know down in the comments because I think this man is the best one because... His stats are disgusting, man. He's a switch hitter, of course. Left, He can play left and right. Like I said, he can have diamond fielding, which is really, really good in his arm, guys. If you guys get him to parallel five, you have 91 arm, which is really, really good. The only bad thing you can say about this card is his contact and the, and the, and the speed. Those are the only two bad things about this card. But I think, in my humble opinion, he is the best future stars card on this list. And yeah, guys, so those are my top 10 future stars that are in the new Future Other Franchise program. Again, please let me know down in the comments what is your top 10 list. Do you guys agree who um, that Michael Taglia is the best future star card in this list? If not, let me know down in the comments who's your number one future star in this whole total program. Appreciate you guys for watching today's video, man. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. It's been your boy, Jesse D123. And I'm out.